Hello and welcome back, it's been a while. In the upcoming league I want to play Explosive Concoction and for the tags it has Attack, AoE, Fire, Code, Lightning and Projectiles. And in POB I have like an Aura Stacker build and it's not really the best for Explosive Concoction. That's where I put all of the gems in and the gear because I think the best route could be going with the old Ely hit route with two Call of the Brotherhoods or one Call of the Brotherhood and one Pyre where I convert all of the lightning damage to cold and then to fire and then scale the ignite. And for scaling the ignite, probably one of the best builds is what Dan did with fire burst. And he used mainly the blasphemous grasp and every item was elder influenced to scale the damage over time and other beneficial effects. And at the leak start, I will get the gem and test it with the tabula rasa and all of the different gems. And I want to check out if the alchemist mod is helpful, the 25% increased effect, if that would scale like the 300 cold damage up to 125%, or if it doesn't, and the flask quality applies. And then I have a chemist flask with 23%, and I plan on using the node of careful conservationist for 10% reduced flask charges used and then see if the 33% is a breakpoint so I don't use three flask charges like it still says in the fifth line but two instead and if it doesn't then I try to divine the flask to 24% and then with the passive tree it maybe scales to 33%, 34% and that way uses one charge less possibly and then maybe we go to maximize that with the belts and other charges and then we try to reduce the charges even more with other effects some different ideas i had was going with arcanus brand and sniper mark so we can recharge flasks more easily as well as flame wall and all of the different gems that might work or might not work Emulet might be good, elemental focus doesn't scale the ignite, cruelty is just a 20% more hit damage, less duration has 10% more damage, faster projectiles, chain, pierce, fork, and GMP might just be clear speed stuff or smoothness, deadly ailments for scaling the ignite, accuracy if we don't go with the Lycosidae, like most people will likely go. And I thought about recourse calls. In this guide it says arrows fork. And in POB it says arrows fork. But if you look at the wiki, which is more likely outdated, you can check all of the different quivers. And the ones that are likely to work are Hyrie's Demise with dex stacking. Then Rickle Squall has projectiles fork. In the wiki at least. And that could be helpful. Then the Fracturing Spinner has additional projectile, can chain, pierce, and the upgraded version has the effect doubled. Then Sniper Mark for charges. Crit Multi is one of the strongest gems right now if we go with the crit route. Conk for bosses probably. Crit route, combustion for more ignites, fire damage, scaling, armored ailments, more damage over time. Efficacy got some changes, I think, but I'm not sure if it's helpful or not. And Trinity I never used, but should be a really good skill jam for explosive concoctions. Then if you go energy, energy leech, ignite proliferation for clear speed again, life tip, maybe if you want to go with the 10% more damage. And Ballista Totem has bow and wand attack skills, but maybe it could be used and very likely not but i just tested one of the best skill gems is likely the code to fire support i think damage and full life if we go with like agnostic that's that one then fire pen burning damage inspiration and elemental damage with attacks and for the belts the alien dawn is probably one of the best belts because of the fast ignites and maybe the leech also affects the concoction and if you go with the stat stacking route for like strength or dex, then you can go with the Nomad 
for increased projectile attack damage while you have at least 200 decks. And I'm probably going to stream the League Start and probably for at least this weekend because then I have to go back to my Bachelor Thesis. But if you want to join me, then you can follow me on twitch.tv slash frankly speaking or here. Please don't forget to subscribe and tune in the next time. Bye bye.